uh, lastly, I just wanted to ask you quickly about uh, Booster Gold and how the yes. progress on that is going. Uh, handing in the script next month. Um, it was actually very cool. I got to meet Dan Jurgens, who uh, who uh, created the comic book last night, and uh, I spent uh, about a half an hour convincing him that I wasn't just some gun for hire. That uh, I was actually a huge fan of Booster as a kid, and uh, I wrote a couple episodes of the Justice League uh, animated series. And when they asked me who I wanted to write, I said Booster. So I've been a lifelong Booster fan, and uh, you know, this year to have gotten to write Green Arrow and also write Booster Gold for television. It's just uh, it's more than my little, little geek heart can bear sometimes. Uh, but uh, I'm just as excited about that and uh, hopefully that'll be a lot of fun and hopefully it'll it'll make its way through the chain of command at sci-fi and hopefully you guys will get to see it. Uh, that character, very, very different, unique superhero. Yes. Is it going to contain, you know, all of that sort of, you know, celebrity superhero angle? Yeah, I mean, you know, Dan's character, Dan, the character that Dan created, he, you know, he was before his time. I mean, back in the 80s, you know, he, you know, he really is the first TMZ superhero, as we say, you know, in the show. But, um, but all of the DNA of that, of that character with Skeets, with Trixie, with Dirk Davis, with, you know, Sister Michelle, you know, um, Rip Hunter, you know, all of that is in the pilot. Um, so I think, you know, for, you know, like with Arrow, if you're a new fan, you know, uh, you know, you don't have to be afraid. But if you've been a fan of the character and been a fan of his history, you'll see the DNA of the of the comic book in the show.